build an appetite for more of God. Psalm 63 and verse 1. O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. David talks about thirsting after God. David talks about longing after God. In our spiritual walk, we must maintain this kind of a spiritual appetite for more of God. In God's economy, the best way to maintain an appetite, the best way to maintain thirst and hunger is actually to be full of God. And the more we have of God, the greater our appetite becomes. So when I spend uh, more time in the presence of God, though I am filled with the, the fullness of all that He is, my spirit longs for more of Him. When I take time in God's Word and I learn uh, of, of the revelation of His Word, my spirit wants more of that revelation. Now, when I take time worshipping the Lord, uh, when I adore the Lord and I'm just satisfied in His presence, my spirit wants more uh, time with Him, more time worshipping Him. And that's how God's economy works. When we are full of Him, we become hungrier for Him. And David knew this. And David spent so much time in God's presence. And now uh, he, he's, his psalm says, Lord, my soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land. So uh, not only was David's spirit hungry and thirsty after God, thirst, uh, thirsting after God, but uh, David's soul was wanting more of God. David's flesh was wanting more of God. And we too can come to that place of being in the glory of God where every part of our being is wanting more of who God is. Uh, in verse 2 of Psalm 63, David says this, So I looked for you in, in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. David had also tasted of the power and the glory of God. And so while he was hungering and thirsting, for the presence of God, he had an appetite for the power of God. And every time he would come back to the sanctuary to encounter that power, to encounter you know, the, the, the miracles that God could do, the, the power that he could release. And even today, you know, as we encounter the presence of God, we can taste of his glory. We can taste of his powerful works in our lives. Uh, and we must keep building our appetite. And the best way to build an appetite for more of God is to actually have more of him, which will cause us to be hungrier and thirstier for him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for teaching us that the way to hunger after you, O oh God, is to actually have more of you in our lives. And God, we commit ourselves, O oh God, to building up an appetite for more of your presence, for more of your word, Lord, for more of your power and your glory. And God, we thank you. We thank you for leading in this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.